Well, it's weather on demand for Monday, March 31st, and it was a nice weekend. Lots of sunshine. We kept a dry forecast and temperatures were mild too. The high was 48 on your Sunday. That's the official reading. Put that together with a warm low and yesterday one of only a handful of warm days across Upper Michigan for the month of March. Now let's take a look at March so far. We're more than nine degrees below average. You can see our average high temperature, our average low almost three degrees. So we keep mild temperatures to start the work week, though there is a cool down in the cards. Let's look around. We see temperatures are mild and you can see Newberry 26, one of the uh, cooler spots. Everybody else reading through the 30s and even uh, Ironwood checking in 43 up ahead of this latest low pressure and uh, warm front. So here we have increasing clouds. Some of this uh, rain shower activity not actually reaching the ground. It's likely evaporating before reaching uh, the surface there over even Lake Superior, but we eventually We'll watch some uh, drizzle working in, also some patchy fog, especially over west and central UP. We span out and uh, it's going to be a messy couple of days over the high plains, places like through uh, the Dakotas, Minnesota. Blizzard warnings effective there, peak wind gusts above 50 miles an hour. 10, 15, even 20 inches of snow in the forecast. You can say this latest low is still well off to our south and west, but that's eventually going to cross right in. So we're certainly warm enough for mainly rain. And as that low continues to evolve working in, we'll talk about that cooler air wrapping around the backside of that system, and that's eventually going to bring a change over to snow. But for now, we're mild up ahead of that front. You can see all this warm air, that tongue of warm and relatively moist air working in towards the uh, central plains and through the Great Lakes. And again, that cold front will eventually filter in. So here's the way it looks. Much of us enjoy a dry forecast, especially central and eastern UP, and any precipitation will be in the form of just uh, some light rain or drizzle over uh, mainly these western counties through your Monday. Even into tonight, it looks like it's still warm enough for mainly rain, though across the far western counties and through the Keweenaw, there could be some uh, a brief period of freezing rain or sleet before a change over to snow into our Tuesday. And late Tuesday, you can see that low continues to lift in out of here. So winds will become breezy out of the northwest. Strong high pressure builds in and that'll shut off any snow uh, early on your Wednesday. It looks like a mild couple of days towards midweek. So for today, highs run through the 40s and we'll see that fog breaking out, especially over west and central UP. Chance for some drizzle or light rain. Some of those warmer spots may actually crack that 50 degree line, similar to your Sunday. In fact, much cooler as you look east, still managing 40. So that's around average for this time of year. And then into tonight, that rain spreads eastward. Everybody gets a little bit of rain into our uh, early Tuesday. And again, there is a chance for a changeover to perhaps some freezing rain early Tuesday over the far western counties. It is breezy throughout your Tuesday and Tuesday night, especially east. It'll be an early high too. temperatures continue to fall as we wear through the day Tuesday. Best chance for some limited accumulation is over the far western counties. You can see our forecast model wants to hold off until say around lunchtime for snow showers to start breaking out. And even in some of the higher terrain over the western UP, we're thinking one to three inches of snow, so not a very impressive dose of snow. And then uh, we do keep below average temperatures generally into the 30s, so it's not oppressive for daytime highs. We're watching this next low pressure, which works in late Thursday into your Friday. That could bring in some messy accumulating snow, especially over the western UP. Have a great week. Thanks for watching.